Oh, let's try this one more time. I'm trying to do a Bulletin Man video broadcast on this Christmas and try to keep it in the Christmas spirit. Bear with me as I try to get all straightened out here. My tripod is missing in action again. I have no idea where it's at. But I wanted to play a clip today uh, from my uh, some people who are in the courthouse now. Lisa Pagano, actually Lisa Page. Uh, Bill Pagano's daughter is now the presiding judge in Jefferson County. No, did you ever man? Who would ever thunk it? Um, but Lisa has a few concerns, and I hope to address them in this Bulletin Man video broadcast. Eddie and Lisa are great people, really. Um, their hearts are in the right place. Eddie's a good guy with a high school with Eddie. But this is Lisa's concern now. Listen, listen up, all right? We worked really hard on was to get the new courtroom done by January 1st. Another huge goal of mine is to get the circuit clerk's office where all of the clerks are behind secure windows and doors. Um, some of them, I feel, are very risky positions. Lisa, why do you feel they're very risky positions? Could it be that you folks there in Hillsboro are at war with the people you're supposed to serve? Um, let's face it. I love you. Save the lawyers org, and literally, I want to save your save the lawyers, save the clerks, save the um, courthouse workers from any grief. But the way this system is set up, if you're going to lose anything in your life, it's going to go down to the courthouse. And if we had a good God-fearing circuit clerk, and I really do believe Lisa is the answer to a, a lot of prayer, that she is a God-fearing presiding judge. Perhaps you'll take a look at some of the issues that I've raised in these broadcasts over the last nine, ten months really heavily. Um, the courthouse is a house of horrors. And the reason why it's a house of horrors is because instead of protecting our God-given rights, it has now become the instrument in which the state of Missouri, all capitalized, takes away our God-given rights. And when we lose it all, that's when some people lose it. If you're really concerned about security there at the courthouse, first of all, you need to call Bulletin Man, 314-800-3652. I'm your friend. I really am. Uh, I follow a few friends of the court breeze in Jefferson County, but literally, I am your friend. If I wasn't your friend, well, the, the problem would have been dealt with a long time ago. But uh, give me a call, and I can maybe, 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 perhaps you ought to think about hiring me as your own security upper, because um, I've given it a a little thought of what it would take to remove those who want to oppress their neighbors, who want to make war against the Constitution of the United States, state of Missouri, and make war against we the people. Uh, though I am a born-again Christian, I believe that uh, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, he will repay, and he does. Uh, though I have uh, gave it a little thought of what it would take uh, to neutralize those who want to war against the American people. Um, though I'm not going to be one of violence, uh, Jesus never did anything of violence, and when there was a violent incident, he healed the man's ear. Uh, this can be a revolution of love. But the easiest and best thing you guys can do as far as improving your security situation up there in Hillsboro at the jailhouse too is first of all at the jail why don't you let out everybody who hasn't harmed anyone because without a provable personal injury loss or harm there is no crime uh, and by definition the only criminals are the police who put people in jail when they have not harmed anyone caused anyone loss or, or, or um, injured anyone um, all drug crimes when there is no injured party uh, all drunk driving and child support cases when there is no injured party. Uh, one could argue with the child support that the parties are injured, but uh, the children would be injured. Uh, but that's a weak argument, really, because unfortunately, it's not the state of Missouri's responsibility to take care of children. I don't know where they get, get into this th business thinking they are, but the whole thing's a fraud, to be quite honest with you. But quit arresting people. For you know, I, on my website it says I have a couple of quotes. Now let me kind of scroll back over here to my website. And keep in mind I'm downstairs and in the land of the slow com computer. But I do have a new uh, Christmas present my wife got me. God bless her. I love Judy. She's such a great wife. She really is. She got me a new BlackBerry that I can go directly to YouTube with, which we'll, we'll be making use of this year. 
and uh, we've got low power FM transmitters on the way. We have one installed down in 90, at 90.1 FM in um, in DeSoto right now at the Praise Fellowship uh, Church is going to be broadcasting on. Matter of fact, Miss Louise already is. But on my website, I'm going to have my own little radio station and stick in the back of the car, and I'm going to spend some time in Hillsboro. And we're going to broadcast to the people going in and out of the courthouse. And we're going to tell them things like, you know, what is a crime, and, you know, just who are the real criminals, and, you know, what jury nullification is, and all this other stuff. Because when the law punishes those actions that do not cause provable harm, the law is a tyrant. And that's where we're at today in America. The law is punishing actions that do not cause provable harm. Thus, the law has been a tyrant. And the only way to secure your courthouse, Miss Page, is to um, quit <laughs> being a tyrant. That's really, really that simple. Hey, it's Christmas time. You know what would be a great Christmas gift? Is for the presiding judge to sign an order releasing all the nonviolent victimless offenders this Christmas season on their own recognizance and have them come back to the court. You know what? Why are we putting hundreds and hundreds of people in jail? Why are we spending $50 a day to house these prisoners? Now, of course, we realize the state's going to reimburse you if, if you get a conviction, and that's why you, you want to convict everybody. But, you know, why are we doing it? It's insane. It's insanity. And really, we, we're here, to, Bulletin Man is here to stop the insanity. I love you people. I really do. I do not want any harm to befall you or your family. But you know what? Your arms are too short to box with God. And when you start causing God's people problems, then you're going to have problems yourself. Bulletproof glass and secure windows aren't going to help the situation there, Miss Page. What's going to help the situation out, Miss Page, is for you, the court, to have a little mercy and a little compassion upon your fellow neighbors and start following what is written in the Constitution and protecting people from injury, loss, or harm, not being the instrument of injury, loss, and harm. So that's your Bulletin Man Christmas message for this, actually the 23rd day of December 2010. Uh, we're looking forward to the white Christmas, which is we've been promised, now let's just pray that it actually happens. I do pray that all my lawyer friends, and God bless you, Mike Lowry, for getting old Dominic out of there. Dominic's bonds went from like 175000 cash only uh, down to $10,000 per. And uh, Dom, uh, of course, Nora, 314-420-9999 for the best bonds lady in all of mid-America. Nora Bolin uh, saw that Mr. Dominic Orlando got out of jail. And, uh, you know, I've known Dominic for 30 years, folks. And I know Dominic's heart, and I don't care what he's been accused of. I know what I know the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department's make the meth task force, and what lie and low down people they are. So you can't believe anything. Matter of fact, one of them, a guy named Aaron Harvey, I indicted back in March. He never answered me in their arrogance. So by law, he is a convicted felon, and he's still on the meth task force. Folks, these are people running around wearing masks. If they were doing something that was upright and righteous, they wouldn't have to run around wearing masks. Now, I've showed you folks over there in Hillsboro for the last nine, ten months. I've had to deal with the federal government. I've had to deal with the FBI. I've had to deal with the postal inspector. Uh, all over you folks in Hillsboro picking up the phone and calling your buddies the feds saying, help us, help us, help us. Well, if you really want to be helped, this is my words of wisdom to you, my friends. Quit messing with people's lives. Quit ruining people's lives for your own personal gain. Simple as that. And you reap what you sow. You really do. I do love you and I want you to have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But in 2011, as we do have our first female presiding judge, uh, let us pray that our court system and our court recognizes uh, what is the problem of uh, a lax security situation. It is because you're impoverishing and you're putting people in jail who simply do not belong there because they have not caused anyone provable personal injury loss or harm. If you're in DeSoto, you may listen to uh, the Praise Fellowship Radio. It's at 90.1 90 .1 FM. Miss Louise is broadcasting on that. 
and uh, look for Bulletin Man's new mobile radio coming into the uh, in the 2011. I know I said that last year too, but now is the time, and this is the place. So uh, we do appreciate you tuning in. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we'll see you again real soon. And as always, I ask you to tell a friend about me. I am the one and only Bulletin Man. See you.